Hi, I'm Erica and welcome to my kitchen. I'm a latecomer to The Real Women of Philly. My husband saw an ad on TV really late last week, too late to get in on the side dishes, but I thought it looked like so much fun when I went to the website. There were some really great videos and great recipes and just a very high energy bunch of women that I thought I'd like to join in. So today I'm going to do a Philly crepe trio. And so the, the concept is the same for each, for each crepe. Um, we have about a third, or you have a third of a block of Philly cream cheese. And in this case, this is the Chipotle chicken version. So just one teaspoon of Chipotle puree. When I buy a can of Chipotle, I um, just stick them in a food processor and whirl them up and then stick the jar of the puree in the fridge and use it in everything from baked beans to scrambled eggs to corn muffins. We're really fans of the kind of southwest flavors in this house. These are some diced green onions. Just a few hit the floor. <laughs> so I'm just going to mash this all together. And then once that's done, it will be added to a crepe with some grilled chicken and grilled peppers. Um, I like using a color, a uh, blend of colors or a combination of colored peppers just because it looks nice. Um, but if you only had one pepper, that would be all right too. So, um, the chipotle, chipotle is kind of hot, so you want to be careful how much you put in. Um, you might want to start with half a teaspoon and taste it and just, just to get it to your own to your own flavor intensity. Now in here, we actually pre-mix this one. It's got roasted garlic as well as diced sun-dried tomatoes. And we use the, um, the dried sun-dried tomatoes, not the oil packed. And, um, and then I just put them into some boiling hot water to soften them up and then dice them up really finely and mix them in with some roasted, or with, yes, some roasted garlic. And then here we have chive and lemon with some black pepper in Philly. Again, about a third of a pack. And we're going to pair that with crab, shredded crab, and asparagus. And sorry, I forgot to say that we're going to pair the sun-dried tomato and roasted garlic with ham and fresh basil. All right. So I pre-made the crepe. The crepe making skills in my family actually belong to my uncle, so I wasn't quite comfortable doing that on camera. But here's what you do. So this is the chipotle chicken. I'm just going to smear some cream cheese on here, on about half of the crepe. And then grab some pieces of chicken. And you can really fill these just about as full as you want to. I'm just putting it on a quarter. Let's grab a green one, just for the color combination. And then you just want to fold it in half, and then fold it into a pretty triangle, and put it on a plate. I'm going to do the same thing with the, with the sun-dried tomato and roasted garlic. I'm going to get that on there. You want to make sure your cream cheese is nice and softened. It really makes the spreading much easier. It also makes the mixing much easier. And just take a slice of ham and tuck it in. Oh, this ham's not very bendy and some fresh basil, just a nice peppery flavor, and fold it in half, Oops. and then get cream cheese on your fingers, and fold it in half again, and tuck it on the plate. And then for our final, which for me is the pest re resistance, this is my favorite. <clears throat> this is the lemon chive cream cheese. Oops. My crepe's moving around here on me. Get that on there, and then we're going to grab some, some crab, just tuck that in there. What I like about this recipe is that you could um, do like I'm doing now and pre-plate it, or you could actually have a crepe bar where you just invite people over and they can make whichever kind they like or mix and match. Here we go, put that on the plate. There are a couple of chives on top, and you've got a really nice Philly Crepe Trio.